so tomorrow I'm going to be travelling to Denmark. You're probably thinking, Kasha, Denmark isn't Disney. No, it's not. And the reason I'm going is because it was cheap. Aarhus, which is where I'm flying to and from and staying, is where there's the Tolland Man, who is like this cool guy they found in clay, that, and I like history. Uh, there's Den Gamel B, which is probably not how it's pronounced, but that's a living history village. And there's also Tivoli, which is the park that actually inspired Disneyland. I'm also going to be spending a day in Copenhagen, and I am bricking it because this is the first time I'll have f flown alone. however you pronounce it, it's one of those and we came on a bus from the airport, it took about 50 minutes. I'm going to go into the 7-Eleven because I want to see if they have chimkin. It's very silly, they probably don't. Let's go. Can I enter the 7-Eleven? Is it a crime? We can, yay. Okay. Yeah. Oh yes. <laughs> so they don't have chicken, but they do have just an absolute ass ton of pastry, which makes sense. <laughs> also churros and cheese. Churros. Yes. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing with my life. So, my current plan is to go to. I'm gonna mispronounce this, I'm sorry, any Danish people, just generally. Um, Den Gamelby, which is about a 15 minute walk, so I'm just gonna walk. Um, I was gonna take another bus, but actually, the bus dropped me off earlier than I thought it was going to. So, that's nice. So, we're heading just a nice little. We're heading to Den Gamelby, then the Botanical Gardens, then where I'm staying on Saturday. Tomorrow's Copenhagen. And yeah, it'll be interesting because this was a very last minute.com thing, except I didn't actually buy it on lastminute.com, and um, it's going well so far. Okay, I am here at Dan Den Gamelby. I have a locker. I am number eight. No. Six. I'm gonna take a photo of that so I don't forget. Because <laughs> I'm an idiot. Bonk. And I've set a code, it's free to use the lockers and I don't have to carry my suitcase anymore. Let's go explore. I did probably also have a sip and a drink. Didn't realise quite how thirsty I was. I've become sweaty. Oh hello. Oh hello. Okay, this is incredibly cool. Why is this so cool? Um, oh, okay, breathe. <sighs> Sorry, I got excited. So, yeah, I, I don't know why I got very overwhelmed with that. Um, sorry, can you actually go in the places? Okay, cool, we're gonna, we're going on some adventures.
This is so cool. Mary touchy the things. They're so little. Why are you so little? And it's a win. Okay, don't hurt your ankle any more than it already hurts. <laughs> Hey, tea and gin and whiskey. Good. It's going to be fine, literally. Okay, I'm going to show you my face. This is how much I've been smiling the entire time. Oh, it's very, very cool. If you look over there, let me just turn you back around. Just, just a big... Hmm. Oh, it has a... <laughs> oh, don't eat the plants. Some of them are poisonous. There might be rhubarb, though. Yeah, yeah, there is rhubarb. Where's rhubarb? 91. Let's go find the rhubarb. I don't know why I'm so excited about this. We are here. So the rhubarb is left and straight. I don't know if I'm going to find the rhubarb. Oh, um, no, I'm not. Because I am an idiot. How do triangles work? I am here. It's right, not left. I don't. There's the rhubarb. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now their plant is in. They have two rhubarb plants. I have one. It is ludicrously big. It smells so nice though. I wish I had smell o vision right now because y'all would be enjoying this. Is this a compost bin or is it just a bin? Soul in it. Oh, it's a well. It's a well. Or it was once. You can still see the water down the bottom of it. Don't eat the plants. Don't eat the plants. Don't eat the plants. Some are poisonous. No. This is really cute though. Oh, and they have a tin can alley. <coughs> so, swinging chairs. I know that one. Um. Oh, it's a skittle. Okay. <laughs> Saw what I thought was noose. I was very confused. <laughs> Definitely end up young children, but very, very cool. The well, blacksmith works in the old smithy. Good to know. I can confirm the blacksmith works out here. And that's just an alleyway. Good to know. 
Okay, we're going this way now. I've had a little rest. My battery is charging. I'm going to not trip over. <laughs> I'm going to keep telling myself that's what happens. Ah. Then make those fake animal noises. That's bizarre. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know why it's making me giggle. I'm assuming this was a well, but they've put a cover over it because they don't want people falling in the well. Which is fair. Ah, and this has 1810 on it. I assume a trough of some kind. Yeah, that's definitely a trough. Yeah, this is more, you know, put things behind glass cases, keep them secret, keep them safe. Traditional museum. Forging stuff. Oh, I think these might be slave shackles. Guns! I think all museums should be like this, where you look around at you and everything is a surprise. Like suddenly guns which I wasn't expecting over the door it smells like a car showroom because it is the Ford Model T fantastic I mean if you like cars Welcome <gasps> to car he speaks English 
Maybe you could show me in the catalogue the car you would like to learn more about. Tell me about the Ford Coupe. No? The sedan. I can see the 1927 Ford Coupe has oh, caught your nice. eye. Mm, that doesn't surprise me. I'm That's actually thinking of buying one myself. The one in that direction. It's Ford's latest model. They have replaced the usual wooden spokes with modern wire wheels. And it has an ignition, a windscreen visor, and a torpedo fan. A torpedo a fan? What does that mean? Um, are you going to continue to be English? That's the question. Ah, so you'd like you to find out more about this lovely 1926 Ford sedan. This 1926 Ford sedan. I own one myself. One of its major merits is the strong, reliable, and indestructible 20 horsepower Ford engine. The Ford sedan is also the most ideal all year round car. Weather tight and warm in rainy and cold weather, airy and shaded in the sunlight. How far have we gotten? Bear in mind, I've been here since 11 and it's now half 12, so and a half so i think we started like this end so we've done all of that and we're now over here um oh yeah we've done that as well so we're getting towards the end of it I think we've done quite well Wow, that's incredibly cool. The floor is so clean. Big doors. Cheese. I don't, I don't, I think I like the real people over the <gasps> cow. Sorry, I got distracted by the cow. Look at him, he's perfect. Um, her, this cow that's based off of somewhere in Aarhus. Ah. Oh, okay. That's cool. Oh. Duck. Is this like children's toys? Or is it just a model railway? Um. <laughs> ah, the best, the best of friends, the pig and the rooster. What, chicken? Ah, back when people were shorter. Ah. Oh, nice. So these are the towns that existed in the Viking Age. 
Nice. In the 9th century. And then there were more. Als je je leven lang woonde in een rookgevuld verpakkinghuis, was het een schadelijke verloren van al het zware roken in de Oh. Het is een lang huis. What is this? A queen. Oh, oké. Okay. It's so little. It's a copy of a queen. Oké. Okay. Bishop's Town. <laughs> okay, and the Cathedral School. Okay. A, hang on, now we've got Townception. <laughs> Oh, it got big. Oh, train. So I very much like this. A lot more full. Oh, what is? That's in, that's in, that's in Danish. Ah, an oil factory. Oh, cool. So... Vegetable oil, and it still exists. Nice. Oh, the war is happening. Oh, this is going to be fun. Cool. Oh, guns, <laughs> including the German Mauser. And the browning. Okay, that wasn't as bad as it could have been. So, if you've never been to loving this, if you've never been to, uh, I've forgotten what it's called. <sighs> It's in the Yorkshire Moors and it's like a World War II reenactment place. Straight up the reason I don't like fireworks. There's a map on the floor. I don't want to walk on it. I might break it. I love that you can cycle our host. Or host. So, we've done the 1970s. There's a shop there that I'm not going to go in. It does look cool. It just looks like... Is it paint? Is it just paint? Yeah, that, that's just paint. Why not? And a camera shop. These are very cool. I love the little trips that you can go on. So that's a travel agency. Camera shop, a bottom. Um, the sun has gotten very bright. Oh, that's actually a pizza joint that can actually get a pizza from. See, this is just cool. And the best part is, we're going to see it now. There's a blockbuster. The real question is, is it a functional blockbuster? Also, I forgot that their car was here because it's decorative, not because it's an actual car, because it's so modern. Because we're now in like the 2012 zone. Oh, I know, I know. I think this blockbuster is about to go out of business by the looks of it. I love the scary noises they pump in, that's funny. Tea plant. Oh, they smell. It smells like tea. <laughs> You'd hope so, really. 
can I just stay in here? Too precious to be left alone. You're beautiful. Oh, they have lotus um, lily pads. Okay, so we are at the place I am staying. It reminds me of a chalet at a beach. It's adorable. It's a little apartment. It'll do for a few nights. Um, it's about half an hour out of the town centre though by walking. So I got a taxi which cost about a tenner in English money, about 160 Danish krona. Um, and the, the, the taxi man was very, very kind. Um, the app had accidentally put the wrong place on so he managed to find me and give me the lift and we had a bit of a chat on the way here. Everyone's super friendly, like legitimately. So my current plan, because I'm very sweaty, is to have a bit of a shower, have a bit of a chill, maybe watch an episode of Castle, um, and then go find some dinner and have a pretty chill evening because tomorrow's going to be very full on. I'll give you a little tour actually while I'm here. So this is the door, it has an actual key. I've put the blinds up because I'm going to have a shower so I don't want people to see me from the street. This is the bed. This is the table and my luggage and everything just spread around. These are the closets that I'm not going to be using very much. This is a happy little plug. Um, I love the faux foliage just to add a bit of something. This is the kitchen. There's an extractor fan which is in the bathroom, which is why it's on, because I turned it on. This is the bathroom, and you're probably like, where is the shower, Tasha? It's a wet room. It is functional. So, I can't remember exactly how much this cost me until Saturday, but I think it was about £160, which is nothing. And there's drinking vessels. You couldn't have more than one person staying here, but I am me staying here so yeah gonna have a wash see what's about and then head on out it's gonna be fun i can only see one plug though so that will be my everything plug yay so i had a bit of a walk about 10 minutes away there's a place called delicioso which is delicious in italian and had some pasta and oh my god it was so much pasta i think i've died i didn't eat all of it because i literally couldn't it was beautiful and then I went to Netto <laughs> as you do just go to a supermarket I've got some pan chocolat for breakfast tomorrow some orange juice and their turtle shaped caramel filled sweets that my partner wanted me to grab him so I've done that it's currently about half seven and I've got a coach at 7 30 in the morning to go to Copenhagen so I'm gonna have a chill evening winding down just generally being relaxed because I'm I'm very aware that I've been up since four uh, even though I did have a nap on the plane so I'm gonna head to well not head to bed but head to chill out time which I'm not going to vlog and I will see you guys in the morning if you've in if you've enjoyed today and my little travel around or who's or or Oros, I think it is um, feel free to stick around for tomorrow when we're gonna be taking the bus to Copenhagen and having some great fun there. And remember to like, share, subscribe, and the usual other things. And I'll see you next time. Bye.